Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UI5 projects. And uh, we, in this particular video, we'll learn how to build our first chatbot with SAP conversational AI. So SAP provides multiple ways to create chatbots. And it, this is one of the way via which you can create your own chatbot. And uh, there are different type of chatbots. So one is the one where uh, you create a hard coded text with answers. Like um, you can ask a chatbot like, uh, I need help and it will come back with some options. You click on those options and again, it will come back with some more, you know, answers and all. And thereafter, it will come with uh, an input box where it will ask you detailed description of your issue. And accordingly, that will solve it out, provide a documentation or send an email to you for further analysis. So this is one use case of a chatbot. Second use case is where you train your model, where your chatbot become intelligent and your chatbot understands your questions and based on the questions it come back with you know multiple answers like chat gpt is one of the intelligent uh, chatbot that we are using in the market and the third one is where you create events so like uh, you ask the chatbot to perform some operations and based on those operations you know create a po or create an invoice and uh, like these operations you ask actually an operation rather than simple questions so these are three generic ways of chatbots that uh, SAP also integrates with their UI5 application. So in this particular video, we'll learn just creation of basic chatbot. So this is the official page where you can go and learn all the steps. They have mentioned it beautifully. So the very first step is that you need to create your own login account on their uh, particular platform, the conversational AI platform. So I'll just click on login or sign up. So we can sign in using SAP ID. So let's sign in using SAP ID. Fine, I have an SAP ID, so I can sign in like that. You can create your own signing ID and you can use a Gmail ID, Outlook ID, any email ID you can use for that. So there is no restriction from SAP side. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Great, we are logged in and uh, now we can create our own bot, right? So it's a very, you know, fresh platform. So one of the bots we have already created, we will ignore that. We'll go back to the creation part in this particular website. So here you click on start with template, right? You click on new bot and fill our operation. So I will basically jump here, click on new bot. So two options are there, perform actions using conversation flows and retrieve answers. So right, we do not have to perform actions like you, you can book a flight from here. You can create an invoice, right? Same thing I want, was like trying to answer you. And then we have like documentation answer, right? So answer FAQ. Suppose this is the one and I will call it uh, FAQ bot, something like that. A bot to answer FAQ. The so topic will be SAP or uh, technology. Yeah, it will be English only. So it is not a personal chatbot. So basically, if you are creating a chatbot that uh, deals in health department, it deals with, you know, defense department, something like where you are capturing sensitive data, you have to, you know, mention it to SAP and uh, compliances like GDPR will come into picture. But in our case, it is like a very basic app. So we can even store conversations and we cannot store it. It's upon you. So we'll store as of now. So again, this is, comes under compliance and it will be public, you know, visible for everyone. So that's uh, create one. Okay, let's go back to this particular. So the four stages of bot life. 
so these are the one where we train build connect and monitor so these are the operations that we are going to perform so like here train build connect and monitor great so in training part we can upload a csv file and uh, so let's click on this upload csv and let's uh, click on this particular file to see the format of data so to upload a csv file we'll click here so this is the format where you write a questions and answers in this way so let me see if i have already an excel file here okay yeah i do have so i will open it up if i go back so they need csv utf8 formatting right not an excel file same file i have created here in this way so i have a few questions already here like this so i asked the question like what is the best website for coding what is the best website for to learn projects something like that and i mentioned my own website here so like this we have created a faq so we'll just drag and drop the same file upload it here close it up so i believe we have done a training part so we have given questions and answers to the bot so that it can learn these question and answers and based on that it can you know produce answers based on our questions the next part is build we'll just click on build and here we see our faq question is here customer satisfaction found okay nothing is as of now required you go to connect so you see you can connect with twitter slack skype teams and anything you want third party and uh, we will just click on sap api one and it will create a ui application on top of our chatbot so we will see integration settings so you see they have button text what you want to click on me is there chat with me is there they have given you the uh, default sap theme and then you can even customize the header part the logo is sap as of now and all the bot pictures and all you can mention it like welcome is this is a chat bot by my project ideas so like this you can mention whatever you want and channel name will be my project ideas channel fine i believe this will not be an issue and i'll create it here great so it says if i use this script i can embed it in our website so as of now we are just creating for our own test purpose right so i'll click this one in chat with the chatbot that i have created successfully we have created chatbot this is a chatbot by my project ideas right what is the best website for projects or i will just call let's see college projects let's see what replies here so the best website to learn project is myprojectideal.com my question is a bit different from what i have mentioned here so the question was what is the best website to learn projects my question is what is the best website for college projects and similar answers were produced and now you can see it an, is an option for feedback you can provide a feedback like yes no and accordingly it will keep training the chatbot so this is a simple chatbot that you can create for your own purposes right